My name is Kelly Emmett, and I am a professional mountain bike racer for Giant Bicycles. And today I'm here in my garage to show you how to fix a flat on the go. First, we're going to start with removing the wheel. And to do that, we need to go down to our quick release, open up the lever, and then unscrew the nut. And generally you want to give this about 10 to 12 turns to loosen it up enough so the wheel will slide out. Like that. Next, I like to go and see what's inside my saddlebag. And I typically like to make sure I have a few of these things in there. And the first is a CO2 cartridge. The head to the CO2 cartridge that you'll screw on later when you're ready to inflate your tire. And I always carry a spare one just in case the other one doesn't work or you need some more air because the tire isn't filled completely. A tire lever. And then, not least but last, the tube. So, back to our wheel. We can see we've got a bit of a flat here. And first thing that we need to do is remove the wire bead over the, uh, or remove the tire from the rim. So to do that, Take my trusty tire lever, place it underneath the wire bead. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a hook under there to attach it. And then you want to push the wire bead, push the lever down and the wire bead over the rim. And then once you get that, you want to just kind of slide the tire lever down the rim. And you can see it pulls the wire bead off should be pretty easy to do. Some tires are a little bit harder than others. Um, you can see that this one's pretty easy. And then you need to continue to get the bead off the, off the rim completely. And then pull out the tube that's inside that's been punctured. And another trick that I like to make sure I do is uh, check the inside of the tire and make sure that there's no uh, glass that is, you know, poking through or um, sometimes there's a thorn in there as well. A lot of times people will forget to check and then they'll throw a tube back in there and then they'll get a flat immediately, you know, what, immediately when they get back on the bike. So you really want to make sure that you check the inside of the tire really well for any extra dirt or thorn or glass that might be, might be inside there. So the next you want to take your new tube that's from inside the seat pack and it comes with a cap and then a little lock ring on there and both that stuff you don't really need um, a lot of times I just kind of throw it back into the seat pack or put it in my pocket um, and then throw it away later at another time it's really not that necessary so then you want to open up the little Presta valve at the end unscrew that so that it's uh, so that it can get air inside the tube. Now there's two techniques to uh, slightly inflate the tire before you put it back, or slightly inflate the tube before you put it back into the tire. I like to, it's easy for me to kind of blow on the end of the valve stem just a little bit, or I'll sometimes just use my CO2. And you can do that by screwing on the head there. And you're going to feel it when it gets a little bit tight, then you know that the CO2 cartridge is being punctured. So um, to get the air to come out, you need to turn the CO2 the opposite direction. And so kind of place it on there. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit just to put a little bit of air in the tube. And this basically helps you from getting a pinch flat when you're putting the uh, wire bead back on the rim again. So. And you don't want to put too much air in there because then it would be too, it's too hard to get the tire back on. So you just kind of want to have the tube look like that. So then you're going to place it back inside the, inside the tire there. And you want to look for the valve stem hole. Place that back in there. Put your tube back inside the tire there. Like that. 
And then I always like to start right at the top of the valve stem when I'm putting the wire bead back on and kind of just work it around the tire like that. And then it's almost on. Sometimes you get to a point where the tire gets really tight and you can't quite get the bead completely on. So that's where you kind of want to use your tire lever again. And just kind of stick it underneath the side there. And kind of pull up. Sometimes it makes kind of a big snapping noise, but that's okay. That's fine. And we're almost on there. There you go. Sometimes you kind of have to work it a little bit with your hand to get on there completely. So, you're ready to inflate the tire. Place the CO2 back on there. Want to make sure it's on there securely. And then you back off the... tires inflated and you want to make sure that you've got enough tire pressure in there and the best way to do that is kind of check and see what you have in the rear tire so if you squeeze the rear tire and then you squeeze the front tire you can kind of see that you do have enough pressure in your tire now and that you can put it back onto the back onto the bike so just basically want to slide it in Screw down the nut again, and I think we did about 10 to 12 turns last time. And then sometimes you need to check the lever and see if it's tight enough. Sometimes it's too tight like that. You just want to back off the bolt on a little bit, and then there you go. There it is to fix a flat. So I recommend practicing this a few times before you go out on the road yourself, and uh, just enjoy the ride.